Hello there! If you're familiar with Netlinked, you'll no doubt notice that this set is unfamiliar. Yep, in honor of reaching 1 million subscribers, we've got new sets, and this is the one for Netlinked. Now, uh, this may change a bit. We're planning on maybe adding some more stuff later. But we've got another one for Unpacked over there. This video is 4K now, etc., etc. Oh, and we're doing a giveaway with over 10,000 bucks worth of prizes. So click up here in the corner uh, for our big 1 million video explaining things. All right, that's enough. It's time for the news. Welcome to the new and improved Netlink Daily. Qualcomm has just announced something pretty interesting today. They have teamed up with their own bitter rival, Samsung. I mean, that's not true. They've both worked together before and they both make chips. Anyways, the reason behind this collab is because Qualcomm wants to use Samsung's 10 nanometer FinFET process for their Snapdragon 835 processor. One of the benefits of the 10 nanometer process is a smaller physical footprint when compared to 14 nanometer. This means device makers can do things like fit bigger batteries in phones or simply make them thinner. Initial reports say the chip will enable significantly faster charging, use 40% less power, and offer a 27% performance boost. Qualcomm also mentioned today that Quick Charge 4.0 will be fully compliant with USB Type-C protocol as well as Google's new specs for Type-C charging. Uh, yeah, it better be. Now that Apple is forcing their hordes of people into using USB-C for everything, the rest of the industry... You better keep up. Stereo Labs, a company known mainly for its Z3D depth sensing camera, is taking on Microsoft's HoloLens head-on with a Link, that's with a Q, because it's quirky. Headset. It's a headset. The Link is a mixed reality device, meaning it layers virtual content over top of the real world, just like the HoloLens. The headset itself is actually powered by the aforementioned Z camera, which offers a wider field of view than the HoloLens, and can recognize people and objects up to 20 meters away. That's, uh, 65 feet. I just, I just did that in my head. The developer version of the headset needs to be tethered to a computer, but Stereo Lab says the final version will be standalone when it launches later in 2017. Oh! You hear that? It's Microsoft shaking in their boots. They all wear boots at Microsoft. Very trendy people. And Elon Musk isn't content revolutionizing cars, rockets, and solar panels. Now he wants to futurize the internet. Jeez, Elon, can you settle down, bud? Nope, he says, as SpaceX has just announced plans to bring super-fast internet to the entire world through a network of low-orbit satellites. The company's plan involves 4,425 satellites orbiting at around 800 miles away from Earth, compared to current internet satellites, which orbit around 20,000 miles high. Using a lower orbit would reduce latency, bring bringing it in line with wired services. They would also support bandwidth of up to one gigabit per second per user, making the network a very compelling alternative to land-based fiber and opening up gigabit speeds to rural areas. Okay, fine. You know what, Elon? I'll, I'll let you do this. Go ahead. Fine, do it. He's got his little super smart hands and everything now. It's time for... It seems my genetically modified bacteria are trying to communicate with me. Quick bits. But what does it mean? Nice one! Okay, I actually didn't watch that previous to recording this, so I don't know what just played. But I'll watch it after, and I'll let you know. Oh, and if you want to submit a clip of yourself saying quick bits, uh, tweet it at us to get featured in it linked. Ooh. Bethesda has just announced that later this week on the PS4, player-created Fallout 4 mods will be available. The only downside is that the mods on PS4 are limited to one gigabyte in size, which is half of what Xbox One mod makers have at two gigabytes. I mean, hey, at least the mods are coming. Speaking of PlayStation, PlayStation View is now available on Apple TV. So that's great. Oh, and speaking of Apple, Apple is offering free Hour of Code workshops for a full week from December 5th to December 11th across almost all of its retail stores across the world. That's very nice. Mozilla has launched Firefox Focus, a privacy-oriented browser for iOS that offers ad blocking, web analytics, integrated social trackers, and a big ol' erase button right at the top to wipe your history. But you can only have one tab, because there has to be limits. It would be too powerful. It seems like everyone wants to team up with NVIDIA to make special edition cases. Last time it was Inwin, this week it's Cooler Master with their Master Case Pro 5 NVIDIA Edition. And are you tired of configuring your CPU cooler's RGB lighting with software? Pfft. 
Check out Lepa's Neo Illusion RGB CPU cooler. The RGB lighting is controlled via remote, so no software is needed. The remote even comes with a silicone cover that has magnets on it to stick to the side of your case. Neato. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Oof, I just had like a brain fart. The past, present, and future went to a bar. It was tense. <laughs> Thank you, Bacon Lord Plays, for that joke. If you want us to say something on the show, tweet it at us with hashtag NCIX YoDog. Funny jokes, I always welcome them. This week is NCIX's early bird Black Friday steals. Not deals, steals, okay. The Canadian deal is a Lenovo Yoga all-in-one desktop for $1,069.99. That's a savings of over $400. The American deal is an Asus K50 One UX laptop for $849.99. That's a savings of $70. Click here for the Canadian deal, click here for the American deal, and click up here or in the, in the description for all the rest of this week's deals. That's a lot of things to click. We should think about changing that. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter down here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And uh, yeah, the outro's new too, I don't know if you noticed. But uh, yeah, this is what we are now. This is what happened. Uh, again, if you haven't seen it, our one million subscriber celebration and giveaway will be in the corner in the, uh, on the cards there, so check that out. And I'll see ya later. That's right.